Hi guys, this is Usman from my server mentor and in this video I'll show you how you can host your WordPress or PHP website for free on Triple Zero Web Host. Triple Zero Web Host is a hosting service which also provides free hosting for WordPress websites with limited features. It also provides an easy to use cPanel to manage the website data. So without wasting much time, let's get straight into the business. If you go to Triple Zero Web Host website and click on this Get Started button, you will see that the different hosting plans it provides. You can use its free web hosting service with limited features. It allows you to have one website with 300 MB of disk space, 3 GB of limited bandwidth, no email account and no support. This plan is good for testing purposes. If you are testing your WordPress website, you want to test it on live web hosting and you do not want to pay money, then this is the free hosting web service you should consider. If you want to see the full features it provides, just click on this see all features button here and it will expand the features for you. You can see that it also provides Cloudflare protected name servers along with 99% of uptime guaranteed one FTP account, one cron job and one MySQL database. To use this free hosting service, just click on this free sign up button here. You can use your personal email here for sign up as well, but for now I'm going with Google login. After signing in, you will see a page similar to this one. Just click on this let's create some magic button. It will collect some information about your websites that what purpose your website serves. You can choose any one of these options. I'm going with start a blog option. Click on this select button. Let's just choose any of these options. I'm going for personal. You can write your website name here, it is optional and a password is already created for you. This will be the name of your project on Triple Zero web host. It will take some time and take you to the next page. Click on this install WordPress button. It will ask you to create the WordPress admin logins. For admin username, I'm going to use my server mentor. You can use any username here and type the password of your choosing here. Click on this install button. WordPress installation is just begun on your website. WordPress installation is successful, just click on this go to configuration page to configure your website with WordPress. It will open the WordPress admin backend panel. 
you need to put the admin credentials you have created while the creation of WordPress. Click on this login button. You can see that WordPress backend dashboard has been loaded. You can use it to install plugins, themes or whatever purpose you want. One more thing that you will not One more thing that you will notice that this is not the website that we wanted to be installed, but this is a subdomain. Our website is taken as a subdomain of 000 webhostapp.com's main domain. This is because we are using its free hosting services. That's why it is not letting us to use our own domain with it. But this should not be an issue as we will be using this domain for testing purposes only. Whenever we want to go to the production side, we'll definitely buy the hosting from 000 webhost or refer to use some other hosting from some other cloud. To upload the website files, we need to open the file manager and for that purpose, we need to go to the 000 webhost dashboard page and scroll down a little bit, we see a dash file managers icon here. You can click this icon and click on the upload files button to upload your website's files. Triple Zero Webhost gives you an easy to use file manager which you can use to upload your website files from your PC. Just place your files in this public underscore HTML folder. You can see that the default WordPress website files are already been there, but you can replace them with your own WordPress website files. To manage the databases, we need to go to the databases page. Just click on this home page and click on the tools and click on database manager. You can see that there is one out of two database is already created from the default WordPress installation. This is the database name and database username. You, you need to copy this and paste into the wp-config.php file from WordPress admin file. Use this database. But if you do not want to use this database, you can just click on this manage button and click on delete db and to create a new database click on this new database button and you will be asked to provide a database username and database name and then the database will be created the database tables can be managed from this php my admin link you can also change your website's address by using this set website address button If you want to use your own domain with 000 webhost, click on this button, connect to a domain you already own or, or if you do not own any domain yet, you can also purchase a domain from 000 webhost as well. But these options are of no use for us for now as we are only creating this website for dummy purposes. To view the website, click on this view website button. It will open our website under the subdomain of 000webhostapp.com with default WordPress theme and settings. So I hope that you guys have understood that how we can create a free hosting for our website on 000webhost with some limitations. Again, this free service is only used for testing purposes and not for production use. So that was it for this video guys, I hope you liked my video, if you do please hit a like button and share this video to help others as well. If you have any queries please do ask me in the comment section below. If you guys want more such stuff please subscribe to my channel, my server mentor as well. Until next time, goodbye.